Alright people, welcome back to another episode of Card Review. So today we are looking at another pot slash jar slash, oh my god, they just keep on making these cards, don't they? So, this is Jar of Avarice, and you guys are probably thinking, well, what about Pot of Avarice? Nope, that card's banned. <laughs> well, at least here in the TCG, and you know, I mean, it's kind of deserving. I mean, that card is kind of ridiculous, you know? It's just like, oh, take, go ahead, take five monsters, any five monsters, put them back in your deck, shuffle them, draw two cards, just go ahead. It's like Pot of Greed on crack, you know? Because you get to freaking, you know, refuel your deck with cards that you want to take back from your graveyard, so... Yeah, yeah, you know, that card was kind of ridiculous back in its prime, but then it got banned. You know, and then we started getting cards that were kind of replacements for it. You know, we got a, was it Pot of Duplicity slash Deconomy? I don't remember which name is the TCG and which one's the OCG. So, I just call it Pot of Duplicity Deconomy. And we got another card, and this one is Jar of Avarice. Yes, Jar of Avarice. So it's kind of like Jar of Greed, where it's kind of like Pot of Greed, where it's a trap card, and you only draw one, but... There is one thing that makes this card actually really good. Really, really good. So, it's a normal trap card. And it reads, target five. Target five. Hold up, hold up. Cards. 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 Card cards? Cards. Cards. Target five cards in your graveyard. Is that for Jar of Avarice? Shuffle all five back into the deck. Then draw one card. You can only activate one Jar of Avarice per turn. Cards. <laughs> yes. Cards, people. Cards. Go ahead, take five cards. Spells, traps, monsters, doesn't matter. They're in your graveyard, take them. Put them back, shuffle, draw. You know, there's no, you know, bad stuff to it either. You know, it's the only bad thing is, is that it's a trap card and you can, it can only activate one. But you, you even out, you even out. You play this, you draw a card. But you get to take five cards. You know, you want to go ahead and put your Rotas back in your Telenites. You want to go ahead and put your, you know, your Shadal Fusions. You want to go ahead and put back your, your Sacrifices. You put back your Skill Drains, your Vanities. Recycle your MSTs. Bam. Jar of fucking Avarice to the fucking rescue. Five cards. Go ahead and put that Snatch Steel back. That Regeki back. That Soul Charge back. Put it back. Use it again. Fuck Magician of Faith. This gets it done. Like, wow. Five cards. When I first saw that, I'm like, nah, that's gotta be a typo. That's gotta be a typo. You mean five monsters, right? Five monsters. Shuffle them back. Draw a card. Monsters, right? No. Cards. Cards, people. Cards. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. This card's actually pretty good, I must say. You know, it's a fine zero out, you know? Go ahead. Just put your card. Just put five cards back. Shuffle. And draw one. So, you use this. Draw one. You zero out. And you get to go ahead and put five Card spell trap monsters put them back back in your deck awesome awesome you know i thought that with pot of that comedy duplicity that they weren't going to do anymore or anything that has to do with avarice but they're just like you know pot of avarice draw that you know pot of greed jar of greed so you know i definitely would play this card over a freaking uh pot of greed <laughs> i mean jar of greed not pot of greed jar of greed you know but uh yeah this card's actually really good so cards people cards <laughs> So go ahead and tell me what you guys think about Jar of Avarice in the comment section below. And whether you guys are considering running it in your deck when it comes out in the TCG. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support for this episode of Card Review. And I will see you guys uh, this upcoming Thursday with another episode. Alright people, thanks for watching.